Kia ora everyone and welcome to week 12. This week we are looking at two topics. One is dealing with client funds and another one is professional practice. The funds part is relevant to clauses 20 to 25 of the code of conduct, which is funds, invoices, receipts, disbursements and refunds. Activity 12.1 is a forum activity about critically reflecting on uh, client funds. There are two ICDT decisions for you to read and the forum asks you to share your thoughts on uh, how you will handle late payments, disbursements, taking fees in advance and uh, what fees you are going to charge your clients for whatever services you will be providing. This will be particularly important for advisors who are going to be self-employed. Activity 12.2 is a video shared by Sally Forbes talking about her experience dealing with late payment. So her point of view is that it is wise to take fees in advance so that can avoid you from working full pro bono and avoiding you spending too much time following up on unpaid invoices. Activity 12.3 is a forum activity where you will need to critically reflect on a professional practice. This is relevant to clauses 14 to 18 of the Code of Conduct, where you can look at complaint procedure to discuss about professional responsibilities and the significant matters of the written agreement. You need to ensure that you fully explain all of this to your client so they know that what they are signing and what they are agreeing to. There is one question about if you need to seek legal advice on drafting the written agreement, especially when you are going to be self-employed. We recommend you to do so um, because it will help protect your clients um, and yourself from the potential complaints. It seems like an expense, but um, it is the go-to document um, that your client relationship is based on. So our recommendation is yes, you can go um, and seek the legal advice if you are going to be self-employed. I think that's all for this week. I hope you enjoy this week. Bye.